Good morning. Today is Friday. And Anna's in Tennessee. I mean, not even in Tennessee. Anna's in Kentucky. Why is Anna in Kentucky? Well, probably the likely usual reason would be that Anna's lost, but not really. That's kind of a joke. Um, I'm not really lost. I came to view a property up here and I was looking. <clears throat> I went to get coffee this morning and use the bathroom. And it was 17 miles to get coffee and gas up. And then on the way back, I decided to take Tennessee 90 the other direction to see where it would take me. And it actually took me not where I expected, but that's okay. I probably should be looking at a map. Oh, this would be the map. What? Scary. <coughs> I'm going to talk to you, but it is like this. The property was supposed to have really great well water. Septic system was supposed to be working. Lights were supposed to be on. Lights were on. I arrived last night after dark. And, uh, the gravel was laid so thick on this road. Going up the hill after you were on the driveway, you go over this bridge over the creek. Little wooden bridge over the creek. And then you go up the hill, and the guy's out there with a flashlight and a gun, and he's telling me, come on, come on up. So I go on up. And my truck ends up spinning in deep gravel that's been freshly laid, and my truck won't move. I got to back back down and over this bridge in the dark. And every time that I would stop the truck, you know, he'd tell me, go this far, go this far, turn this way, turn that way, <clears throat> pull forward, reverse. And every time I would stop this truck, it would slide in the gravel. It was pretty freaky, let me tell you, man. Because I'd already been driving for like six hours straight. And uh, that was just a bit much. And then he was really worried about um, his gun. Like he, he, he was like, because I didn't say anything about it. He had a gun on his hip, you know. And, um, <laughs> and I guess he thought I was supposed to be afraid. He was finally, he said something. And uh, he was like, uh, I don't know if my gun worries you. And I'm like, look, dude, I live in a housing project, and right now I'm the only one that doesn't have a gun, and most of those aren't registered. You know, they're a little, le they're a little less worried about where they use it. If you're registered, you're going to be a little more careful where you use your gun, since it's going to come back to you. But anyways, <laughs> plus you can't sell me a piece of property if I'm dead. Anyway. So I'm looking at this map. I've crossed over into Kentucky and I was actually trying to get into... I, I went through Clearfield. I wanted to see the cities around in Claiborne County because it would have been nice to have visited Tazewell because I think it's the county seat. And I would have liked to have gone to the courthouse this morning since it's still Friday and I could have to find out a bit more about this property and try to look up some deeds and some information on the uh, property itself because there's a few mishaps with it that I don't like. But other than that, I thought I was going to buy this one. We'll see. Let me look at this map for a minute. I probably should just shut you off until we're ready to go. Because you're not seeing much of nothing. Sitting here stationary. Okay. From Buffalo Road, which I'm back on 1090 right now and I'm gonna go back to Buffalo Road <clears throat> from Kentucky back to it is about uh, six miles I see that where I turned off on 1090 to go to those other cities that where I might get close to the county seat is the other direction Actually, it's in a different county to get to this county's area again, but whatever. <clears throat> I'm in Claiborne County in Clarefield. 
and this sign up here on the left, I don't know if you can see this, says that I'm in Tennessee, or in Kentucky. Not that one. <laughs> but one of them. Holy hell doing this. I'm going to do it. <laughs> A lovely view of the now native kudzu. So, here we are. Tennessee State Line. And here we are. North Cumberland and Wildlife Management Area Tackett Creek Unit. Malpas. Okay, they own the property next to me. Interesting to what I'm looking at. That's real interesting. <clears throat> Well, there's the Kentucky sign. Told you I was in Kentucky. But of course, the lighting's pretty bad here. And the resident Kedzu. And oh, the truck. So back to the truck without getting hit by wind vehicles. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Back in the truck for whatever it's worth. <clears throat> Figured I'd at least show you where I was. Oh. It's a rough morning for me, let me tell you. I was so tired last night I couldn't even sit up. Dude was scared to have me sleep in the inside the house, so I slept in my truck out below the creek. That was kind of funny. Here he is with a gun. Big old bad man. Are you worried about a lady that can't even breathe because her heart's failing? <clears throat> so she sat six hours behind a wheel and couldn't even walk straight at that point. Or sit up in a chair, man. I was all folded over. I looked wilted like a plant. Been out in the heat all day or something. I think I was dehydrated too. Besides tired. Because he walked me up that steep hill. Man, and that just... At the end of the day, hey, <clears throat> somebody waving, um, it just whooped my butt, that's all I got to say about that, it's more than my little body can handle, so I can see why, because they've got that gravel so deep, and he did that himself recently, he just had that all dropped off, <clears throat> they're leaving behind all the furniture that's in the house. It's pretty nice, some of it, you know. It looks pretty good. Would be helpful to me, I guess. Because I don't have a lot. I have a lot of junk, but I don't have a lot of some things. 
some types of furniture I don't have. I have some junk make do stuff. So, <clears throat> these mountains are pretty steep. I don't know how much of them you can see. But the drop-offs on some of these roads are like valleys below. More than one valley below. And they don't have side rails. This part's really tame coming in. But when I came in from Jellico, uh, on Tennessee 90, I'm gonna tell you what, people at the gas station said they don't like that road. They do not like that road, not even in the daytime. By Cliff Cemetery. <laughs> That's a funny name for a road. On this road it is. Yeah, they say that driving this road at night, especially even if you've never been on it, they said it was like, really, they were scared for me. Said maybe I should come back and stay at the gas station overnight. They had the Arby's there too, the shell station. I told him I might, you never know. Oh. It was funny because they couldn't find Tennessee 90. They said, I mean, they, they were three adults lived there all their lives they told me to um, go back underneath the freeway bridge and to watch for a yellow house on the left when I saw the yellow house on the left past it there would be a, a closed down old store and then there would be another road with a bridge on it and they said take a left on that bridge on that bridge road so I take a left on the bridge road and within the length of like two, three houses, without the houses being there, of course, it said Tennessee 90. I <laughs> lived there all their lives and didn't know where Tennessee 90 was. Never heard of it. But it was uh, 17 more miles all the way from this, their store to the actual house address, which was two, two, two more roads away from Tennessee 90, you know. It was kind of funny. They were telling me I might need to go 30, maybe 40 miles, but it was actually 17. Took me to the doorstep. I know because I majored at going back this morning. On my speedometer, 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 I don't know what you can call it. Odometer, something like that. One of them meters. I'm still working on the first coffee, don't mind me. <clears throat> and I already need another bathroom, and of course I've been more than 17 miles from the bathroom. I've been 23, 24 miles from the bathroom's bathroom. If I drive back to one. Which I don't plan on doing, but I sure would like a second coffee. I got a McDonald's sandwich and I haven't ate it yet. It'll be cold, but I don't even care. It said two for four, so for one it was 414. Go figure. They asked me, do I want to receive? Oh, yes, I do.
think this guy's gonna be hip on me filming the property. He's kind of weird. I guess I'm gonna have to edit that because I told him where my channel was. <laughs> Whoops! Maybe not weird. Maybe it's just leery of everybody. He doesn't look as old as he claims to be. He says he's pretty old. I wouldn't have thought him to be so old. Dude, he's still got dark brown hair. And he's kind of thin, so maybe that shows the age right there. Hopefully I'm not going to pass this up on my way back in here. I don't know if you see the mountains, but man, I guess you can. pretty rural, let me tell you, a lot more so than you're getting an idea of. This road is the only road that connects to the road that connects to the road I live on. This is it. And this is the tame section. The immensely tame section. sign just so you know there's like no sign telling you this is this road but I found it last night in the dark without a sign I never passed it up I never got lost 
I heard I did pick up a dude walking. He told me four roads down on the left, the fourth road. And then I asked him if he needed a ride. He was by a railroad step, uh, track. And there was like nothing visible for a while. And that road was so dangerous and so many cliffs. I couldn't leave him walking, man. So I, I offered him a ride even after dark. When I don't give anybody a ride, he got one. Just because of the situation, I, I just couldn't leave him there. I had to move stuff around, man, in my truck just to fit him in the front seat. You know, I got four doors and there's nowhere for a passenger. How you like the kudzu? Man, this place is all kudzu. and it's going to be all over me when I arrive. He wants to show me the property and he doesn't want to show me the property. It's like he didn't even want me to go in the house last night. It was kind of really weird. I mean, he didn't invite me in to look at anything for like the first hour I was there while we were talking, sitting on the porch. He acted kind of funny about sitting on the porch to talk. I was like, I don't know, you know. I told him I would get there if he'd let me off the phone that he was making me late to leave. And, you know, and I, so I ended up leaving without good directions. I just didn't have time to do the normal directions I would have done to prevent me from getting lost on highways. <clears throat> and um, so he said he thought I wouldn't leave till the next day, even though I told him I was leaving right then and that I'd probably be there after dark. He said, oh, I didn't think you'd get here after dark. Well, then got lost two or three times, I'd have made it just right before dark, but, you know, it is what it is. By the time I'd gotten gas and been to the bank and grabbed something else to eat since he called me while my breakfast was cooking and kept me on the phone for four hours, um, I had to throw my breakfast away and I hadn't eaten all day, so... Here it was, 2 p.m. I've been up since 8 a.m. So, I definitely had stopped for something deep. But by the time I did all that, I was way past where I needed to get on the freeway. And then I couldn't find another entrance for it, for Highway 27. So, I ended up taking Dayton Boulevard, which eventually did become a, a, another version of Highway 27. Instead of me getting on it, you know, right by my house. I would have had to originally drove back to my house after going on those other three places to get on the freeway properly. But it's cool. On this property, he's probably not going to let me film. I'm not even sure I'm going to ask you. I think he's just weird about it. He said his sister is coming up from I don't know where. And that she was wanting to buy the property if he ever put it up for sale. And that he hadn't told her he had recently put it up for sale. So. The plot thickens. He's dragged me more than 200 miles from home not really want to show me the property. He's disconnected the water and the septic for, for my arrival. I have to tell me how great it was, how low pressure it was, how he cleaned something out under the house, and now it like flowed really well. And <clears throat> Which means it's just got a crap load of dirt in it. He doesn't appear to have a um, secondary uh, tank, storage tank, you know, to improve pressure. Like where it pumps up a reserve. There's no reserve tank. I hope I didn't just pass it. I kind of didn't really look right there. I'm pretty sure that's not when they get. But we're almost there. That right out tree is ready to fall. Tax 
the match. Well, I believe I've arrived. So, I'm not going to show you the name of the road. Because I want to keep a little privacy for myself here. And I 